This episode of Strange Love brought to you by Treasure Licious. Good evening. This is Strange Love, and I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. This is when Dr. Normal is supposed to ask a question or introduce something. You always start the show, introducing the show, so fine, fine, go for fine. It. I'm your host, Cammy Chaos, and as always, I'm joined by... Put the pastry down. <laughs> <laughs> no. Put the pastry <laughs> down. It's not going to happen. Hello, happen. I'm Cammy Chaos, and as always, I'm joined by Dr. Normal. Hello. And this week's special guest on After Hours is Rick Tarosi. Hi. Turn on your shirt. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, let's not have stripping on Strange Love. We'll have to have a whole new. Why does he still have clothes on? Ha- I'm not putting down the pastry. Doctor Normal had this thing he was supposed to do. This clever little thing that he was supposed to do. I don't recall. <laughs> I have no idea what the hell I was supposed to do other than push use, buttons. And you were supposed to use the the radio man voice and say that I had a question. We went through this. Oh, did we do this in rehearsal? We had a skit. It was a skit we had upstairs. We were eating pizza. We were talking about the skit. Okay, what was I supposed to say? Just tell me. <laughs> Just whisper. No, no one, no one will know. I don't, I don't think it's going to be as funny now. Now you got to do it. Like I know. you built no it idea up. What it's true. Like. You were supposed to say, and on this episode of Strange Love, Cammy Chaos asks a question. All right, do that now. Do that now. Should I do that now? <laughs> sure. <laughs> and on this episode of Strange Love, Cammy Chaos asks this question. Rick, don't you for freaking sleep? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. It, it, from time to time. For more than an hour? Um, yeah. Uh, well, you know, Steve, <laughs> Steve's wrong and I were doing the, the polyphasic thing. For polymorphic or... Poly... Yeah. Well, it's not morphic, poly, but... poly, Polydactyl, like I have too many toes. Um, <laughs> stupid, poly stupid, what? stupid, 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse po- me? Polyhedron. Yeah. Um, I read about those people on Craigslist. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I read the casual yeah. encounters on Craigslist. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> <laughs> that... Uh, it's kind of the thing where you stay up for six hours, sleep for twenty minutes, stay up for six hours, sleep for twenty minutes, and 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 supposedly you remain lucid enough to operate. <laughs> In actuality, about like about like a day and a half into that, like I'm like changing lanes, not even knowing it. Like, do not operate heavy machinery. Um, Essentially, so, you became a blithering idiot. I after, did. Yeah, yes, yeah. I became that 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 person on the road that you scream at. You know, he was just like wandering all over the place. So I um, think first it was screaming at you earlier. Then yeah, she was. I wasn't making a left turn because I hadn't been sleeping. <laughs> so the I do sleep. I I have this polyphasic polyphasic kind of thing. And the the thing is, my um, I get a swing shift out of my work. So mm-hmm. I, I work regular hours and then as I stop right at five o'clock because mm-hmm. I'm just really good. And then I spend some time with my family and my family all goes to sleep about eight thirty. And then my the goodness. smart ones. Yeah. And then That's and then I then I start the swing shift and, you know, work until two or whatever and then go to sleep and sometimes I'm up a little later but but sometimes I'm not up that late, so yeah. I just try and do it when I can draw attention to that fact. So when another a lot of other people are online, I like to you pretend know, I'm up. I, I, I like to do that too. Yeah, I'm like, oh, oh, I've got I so pressured. much work to do, and then yeah. I go take a nap, and then I come back. Oh, still yeah. working. Yeah. I feel no, pressured I just, by the after hours crew. I, yeah, no, no, no. I think you know I think this is all like some crazy trap, right? Because <laughs> Cami Chaos watches. She loves Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And uh, I'm just expecting at some mm. point to be up and in after hours and y'all turn to vampires mm-hmm. and demons. And it's like, oh, that makes sense, right? Yeah. Um, it's not Rick, just Buffy. You know, you're all just like... Bleh. I yeah. watch Angel <laughs> too. There's demons on Angel. There's more demons on Angel than there were on it's Buffy. It's the Twitter vampires. The Twitter vampires, yeah. <laughs> it very yeah. much could be. 
That's right. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Are I any know. of you vampires? Crap, I invited Rick into my house. <laughs> yeah, you invited me right in, so I've seen Lost Frick. Boys. I know a, how that works. Do we have Frick, a crucifix? Frick, 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 Frick. <laughs> I told you, it's a big trap. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, I don't have a crucifix. Do you have a crucifix? You have a dupe hat. I ha- a, does a, it work the same? Hat. Yeah, I, I think know. the image shield will actually protect exactly. you from vampires, <laughs> as well as hackers. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Nice. Cammy Chaos in headphones and a Vadoop hat. See, Vadoop isn't With an actually, unnamed cocktail. Vadoop isn't actually a technology company. They, they're actually a secret vampire <laughs> avoidance are. society. Yes. It's all a front. And sure. yeah. they, they brought us to lunch to point out, you take the hard hat. You might need it someday. <laughs> no, they did. They were like, take it, take it, take it. And then, exactly. after I didn't take it yet, because I was too busy being Cammy Chaos, <laughs> and that takes a lot of time and energy, Aaron Hockley was like, can we take the hard hat? Take the hard hat. Your he kid. Knows. Well, he he Aaron tried to knows. tell me it was because my kid might like it. And I was like, oh, yes, Aaron Hockley. You know what? Aaron you. gets a full night's sleep. Yeah, Aaron does. Aaron's never on after That's hours. Right. And I well, trust Well, him. he's never yeah. on after hours. I I'll ask him. Yeah. I'll I trust him, him tomorrow. These guys I don't trust. Yeah. These guys are up right. Why are you pointing at me? I'm, I sleep more no, than I'm you do. I'm shaking my Oh, you're in just this general hand. Okay. direction. I think that I should weigh in on the subject of sleep. I might stay up a little late sometimes, but I also sleep in mm. whenever I can. I sleep until my child wakes me up in the morning or my husband frantically searches the house for <laughs> hand crank radios. For <laughs> that, that was, was the annoying. Only, yeah. That was the only radio I could find. My mom bought me this. No, she, she gave me this kit at Christmas. Dig this. Was it this was, before it, it I met you? Because I don't recall this. Because my mom buys shit at Costco all the time. <laughs> and she bought it at Costco. Viva la Costco! And she didn't give it to anyone. And it was a, a solar flashlight and a, a crank radio. Ooh, and it was, a, it was, a, it was a, 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 a millennium, you know, two, yeah. year uh, 2000. Y2K. You know, Y2K. No, yeah. Yeah. No. No. Can I ask a question? <laughs> I, I really have a serious question. And I'm trying to crank this thing. No, no, no. I have a really, I got to ask. What the but, frick use is a solar-powered flashlight? I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, I, I couldn't do, get, I cranked the radio for a couple minutes. You did, you cranked went, the radio for a went, couple went, minutes. Hey, and it's that's, over that. yeah. that's when I almost killed Dr. Normal. Everyone, we almost didn't have Dr. Normal for the show tonight because at 9.05 in the morning, oh, when I was asleep, he cranked the freaking crank radio. Then the next one, the big old shortwave <laughs> yeah nice because i went over to to the 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 amp that we have set up and i go oh this has like an fm radio in it so i turn it on no antenna out the back so it's one of those like like raven zachary's talking and so i walk away to go get a, a tea and bleep, it just yeah. stops and then i walk walk up to it and it starts again uh-huh. the needle comes out so you were away. the antenna i'm like son of a bitch what? anyway Yes, he 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 wanted to listen to that Rick Tarosi on the radio. Mm. <laughs> yes, I did. It wasn't as funny as you anticipated it being. No, yeah. no, that was not my yeah, epic fail. Yeah. Oh no fail, no, fail you, you weren't an epic fail, oh. but the funny. It was supposed to be funny. The whole thing about waking me up with the radio and me being well, really the radio I ended up using unhappy was a military <laughs> scan, military nice. air a scanner. scanner. Yeah. yeah Literally, I'm like this thing has that frequency in it <laughs> and I'm taking 10 minutes to figure out how I program the frequency and then man, after I, he I'm spent nuts. all this time programming the frequency trying to listen to it he set it down on my bedside table and went in the other room and brushed his teeth he's like yeah tell me if anything good happens nice yeah Cammy, what's happening on the show? Uh, they're talking about open t- source. T- tell me, yeah tell me if Rick drops an F-bomb on the air or something <laughs> yeah hmm. no he didn't anyone who's one of me what's that Oh wait! Do we have the micro? We need the we need the Jerry need Springer the, microphone or the, the Dr. Phil microphone. Verso, you know how it works here. Use uh, the uh, microphone. Yeah, I was gonna just stand up and yell. Holla! <laughs> I should not be allowed to have a microphone. It's not. Okay. It's not safe. So, Rick, something. Yeah. You need to identify yourself first. I'm sorry. This is Verso. Hi, Verso. No one claps for me. Excellent. Oh, that was better. Anyway, so Rick, something that you had mentioned before we actually started broadcasting was 
what it was that went through your mind as you were being interviewed uh, on public radio. Yeah. And I really think that's a story that should be shared with well, everybody. Yeah, it, I mean, you, you need some context for it, but it was the uh, the Christmas episode of Saturday Night Live from a few <laughs> years back where Alec Baldwin was in the NPR studios with the delicious dish <laughs> women with his uh, sweaty ball sack. And I, I just could not think of anything else but that for a while until we started talking open source and then suddenly it was, it was so you gone. you had a case of the giggles right? yeah i did <laughs> i did and and uh but i i made it through luckily but it, it's amazing like i i was stuck in that in that giggly phase for stuck a while. in the yeah. Nice. Like giggles. yeah which was good which would have been really cute i'm sure giggling on the air it oh, would have yeah. been fun. I would have appreciated it at 9 yeah. o'clock in the morning we being woken yeah, from a slumber. Crank, talk cranking the radio and annoying giggling. That would have been <laughs> great. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what about the sweaty ball sack? Don't do that again. Yeah, <laughs> we no. <don't> <laughs> Apparently, my obnoxious giggling was really obnoxious. Yes, it was. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm thrilled by my fantastic, annoying giggling. Yeah, we're, uh, we're all looking for crucifixes <laughs> the do pats right now i have a video pat does the video pat get mentioned on every episode of strange Love? yes it does yeah because it was yeah. free I, I love free stuff when does the video pat start sponsoring so what yeah it's kind of yeah. like sponsored exactly. by video they get a it's what? a product placement every show yeah what are their, so strange what are love and the right? If someone were to give me actual money, imagine what I would do for them. <laughs> oh. 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 I have a five. Okay, let's ask the audience, each member, what they would imagine that you would do for them. That's an excellent question. What would Kemi Chaos do for real money? Fantastic. Oh, Klondike bars are good. So what are we drinking tonight? Okay, do this, yeah, do your music. I don't know if anyone actually knows what they're drinking except mm. for me. <laughs> I got it. Me Chaos is drinking a lovely mixture of cran raspberry juice, vodka, triple sec, and orange juice. Rick Tarosi is drinking a Miki Tiki, which is a fantastic mixture. Girly drink. <laughs> There's no umbrella in that. There's no umbrella. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, which is a lovely mixture of cran raspberry juice, banana <laughs> rum, coconut rum, pineapple rum, raspberry rum, some sort of white rum, and cruisin' rum. And love. And love and from Cami Chaos. Made with love. Dr. Normal is drinking the same damn thing that I'm drinking. <laughs> Verso is drinking the same damn thing that I'm drinking. Nice. Uh, $2.05 or 205 What? What am I... I need the money first. What What am I doing for the money? I'm not sure. That's the question. Yeah. The high bidder gets to find out what you'll do for that amount of money. Interesting. Hmm. I don't know that it would live up to their expectations. Yeah, you, know, you know who offered 205 Hello, Tor. Hello, Tor. <laughs> Hello, Nate. How Jerk. are you? Let's bump that up, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to sponsor Strange Love? <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> nice. Really nice. It, it's after hours. I can do what I want. What, what can up? I say? Are we done? Oh, and we have pastries. We have oh, pastries. and we have oh. lovely pastries mm-hmm. provided by Brom and Case Organic. Thank you very much. Thank you. I really like the, I really like the pastry with the chocolate inside. Let Mama take care of you. Hello, pastry. I was told earlier to put the pastry down, but the pastry is so good I can't help myself. So now, I have to ask. You, you've got the old palm. We're going to talk about the palm. Yeah, the old, or, I'm, the iPhone. I'm thinking yeah. about palms now. That's I've, right. I don't use a palm. Dr. Normal's the palm user. Nice Freudian slip. Yeah. <laughs> I used to have a sweet V5X thing, yeah. like the little silver one from like 1998. I had thing. one of those. Yeah, I that had thing. every one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> peanut gallery is going nuts. The peanut gallery is naughty. Ooh, 512. <laughs> Inflating the I bid. I like you. Nice. What? 
fantastic. At the end of the show, we'll discuss what the are, high what's bid. What's my bid at so far? We haven't been bidding on oh. you. Let's start ooh, ooh. Oh, oh. 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 What's the bid? What's the bid for what Rick will do? <laughs> fantastic. So you have the old. Yeah, the old one. I haven't even upgraded oh, to. Whoa. Someone just bid $1,024 by $768. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Oh Resolution building. Yes. I like their bidding. I like that. So you have the old iPhone, but you haven't updated? No, I still have like one, one or one, two or whatever it is. Wow. Yeah, because I, uh, I was actually traveling mm-hmm. as the upgrade was coming out. I'm curious. Out, I want to see. Decided. I'll show you. This is my wallpaper. I want to see yours because I saw a cute kid. Yeah. Let me get that out of the way. Wait a sec. And those are my. We're having the, we're having the cute kid iPhone the, wallpaper the cute time. Cute kid wallpaper thing. Those are my. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Yeah. Okay. So are you are you gonna get the three G iPhone or do you give her it? I I am only because my uh, wife managed to break her phone while I was out of town, and so she mm. wants this one, and uh, I'm yeah. gonna get the new one at some point. Uh, smart, smart. Jolene, you know I can't say no to your cupcakes. <laughs> Someday aliens will get this podcast and try to decode it and understand our ways. I understand humanity now. Exactly. Pastries Strange the life and girly drinks. <laughs> and this the life will iPhone reach the thing aliens. that everyone's talking about. So you are going to upgrade to the 3G? I think so. Yeah, I, I at some point, uh, most likely this weekend. If <laughs> at some point, most likely yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, most likely as soon as I leave here, so I'm gonna go start standing in line. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but, See, yeah. I my hopes of of upgrading to 3G were dashed when uh, Doctor Normal there decided he needed a new iPhone. Well, but you're getting sponsored by whatever the bidding's at now, so you could get several. That's true. I could, iPhones. except for the fact that they then changed the service plan. That's right. That, that's true. It now and costs like as much that. as the old phone, basically. Yeah. If you buy the service plan, it's exactly. like a six hundred dollar like phone ten, again. Yeah. Ten mm-hmm. bucks more yeah. for the data. Yep. Yeah. So you know. Yeah. No bueno. Yeah. To quote uh, to quote verso. <laughs> Muy bueno. No, no bueno. No bueno. Put the pastry down. <laughs> you have a show to do. Put the pastry down. There's pastries. It's so bad enough that you shake your ice and crap during the show in your mic. <laughs> what the? It has chocolate in it. What? Please. I'm almost done with it. Media, if you could just take that plate and put it elsewhere. <laughs> Where am I supposed to put it on my plate? Away oh, from me. On Dr. Normal's desk. So, Rick, how about that plurk? (laughs) Yeah, to the left. That's what I hear. We hear that that's that's the, you know, identicas of the teens. No, I don't know. I have a real question. Let me chew my pastry. Mm -hmm. Oh. So, is it fun? I don't have a mute button. Should I just turn my microphone off? Why don't we just let you Mm -hmm. swallow? You talk. (laughs) Talk amongst yourselves. So what do you like in a lady, Rick? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. I mean, we're guys here. Yeah, what are, you know? let's, let's chat. You like something in the caboose, a little <laughs> up upstairs? You know, what do you like? <clears throat> I'm just trying to make conversation no, while you yeah, suck down question. that pastry. The pastry is sucked down. Okay. I have to maintain my girl's figures somehow. All right, so Rick, yes. ha- you get to swoop in, and I'm speaking specifically of Create Camp now. Yeah. Create Camp, Create Camp, drama, drama, drama. Oh! Trozy swoops in and sponsors it, and now everyone's lunch is free. Well, is that exciting? Do you do you enjoy that? Do you derive pleasure from that experience of buying lunch for eighty people, Rob? Eighty people. Mm-hmm. I I. <laughs> uh, good spit take there. The um, I managed not to spit. I'd like to say. The, there seemed to be. This is the first attempt at this event, mm-hmm. and and the kind of unconference format seems to me should be as open and affordable to everyone as it can be. Mm-hmm. And and so my thinking was that I didn't want these folks to have to worry about lunch. Yeah. And and that. So I was very worried. I'm sure you were. I was. As was yeah. I. I wasn't. I'm not even attending. I You're was worried. I was worried there. about. Oh my goodness. Boy, you know yeah. what? That would be the polar opposite of me being an event organizer. 
<laughs> well, uh, lunch? Just, I don't know. Yeah, uh, there's the sandwich shop. You're over downtown. There. There's Fords on Fifth. People What's don't the need to eat yeah. food. They have, they have bacon at Fords. Sort of polyphasic Ooh. eating, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> when you can. Polyphasic eating you every are you 20 kidding? days. You know? Have you seen me when I haven't eaten for a couple hours? It's yeah. not pretty. Uh, Mr. Sponsor Pants. Also, uh, I'll also be sponsoring Wear Camp September 20. What no is no wear... one knows the date Wait for you. What's Wear Camp? Is it Werewolf? like Wear I'm sorry, not Wear Camp. Word Camp. Did I say Wear Camp? <laughs> sorry. Wear camp. Yeah, Word Camp. <laughs> I might be sponsoring Wear Camp too. Who knows? Yeah. Wear, I wear guess camp. I am now. I'm sponsoring Wear Camp now. So there's a, there's please a cap- bid on me taking my shirt off so I can afford it. There's a couch there. So if you need to take a 20 minute nap, yeah, you're okay. good to go. Thank you. The, uh, Word Camp is, Verso, what's the date? September twenty seventh, which is a, uh, which is basically kind of semi unconference for WordPress mm-hmm, users, mm-hmm. and um, that I, uh, Silicon Flores is WordPress blog, so I'm sponsoring. That oh, is it well. WordPress? Yeah. I'm wondering. At some point, I'm going to have someone redo my blog, and I'm wondering where they're going to tell me I need to be. Come to camp. WordPress is a good choice. Yeah. Hey, I have a yeah. Oh, Media Chick has oh, a good. question. Verso, can you hand her the... Oh, yeah. Brahm, yes. Someone hand Media Chick the microphone. Make a big production out of it, you guys. You need the microphone, baby. Hi, this is Media Chick. You need to you love know, you, that you mic. Could, you, you can come up. Yeah, you couch. could come sit yeah. on the couch. I have a question what? for Rick. Hmm. <laughs> Rick, you've been out and about. been in the newspaper. You've been on Twitter. Mm-hmm. You're up all hours of the day and night. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You have a wife, right? Yes. What does she think of all this, and how come we haven't uh, seen her? She's actually Ooh, made an appearance in life. one, like one random thing, but uh, she was afraid and ran away. No, uh, actually, when I used to work for corporations, I would be gone, like from the house mm. for long hours. Like mm-hmm. I would work seven a.m. to seven p.m. kind of thing. So I know all about that. So this is like a huge <laughs> improvement because at least I'm at the house most of the time doing my work, and uh, she just kind of puts up with it. She, uh, I, I'm very lucky that she puts up with it, but um, it, it, it just kind of works. Like she, she goes to bed, and uh, I get a whole like almost another work day out of it. So, so she's like you know a saint. Yeah, basically, yes. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Saint the Rose, first time yeah. I, 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 saw you, I saw you, you had a baby in your arm, mm-hmm. and you had one wrapped around your leg. Yes. Yeah, I have two boys. Uh, one is five, and one is two. So this new transition of you being around means you can be around your boys more. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, uh, that's good. It's a little hard with the office hours, like the, the barrier... To the office is becoming more and more fuzzy as time goes on, which it can be a problem mm-hmm. for for the whole family. Mm-hmm. Like the kids will come in, the wife will come in, and I'm like, "Hi, I'm working. I'm on a conference call or it's whatever." Hard time. Yeah. Leave me alone. So, but it is great being at the house and and doing that kind of stuff. And yes, they are very forgiving, and they're um, they're kind of like you have a problem, but we're willing to kind of put up with that problem. <laughs> so you just go ahead and do what you got to do, kind of thing. So. Does she tweet? Uh, no, I got. She signed up for an account, um, but I don't think she's ever actually tweeted anything. So she's, she's not a techie. Mm. No, 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 no. Well, well. No. Th- okay, I take that back. She, um, Eric is a children's librarian for Multnomah County. I was and just going to ask if I say what she did because when you told me that, I, I got very excited. Yeah, she um, and and uh, she for a long time for Mul- for Multnomah County managed the uh, kids. Web, the kids page basically website mm-hmm. for Multnomah County so I mean she can code HTML and, and that sort of thing um, but uh, yeah she's not she's not especially geeky and, and doesn't like take a great deal of interest in the same kind of things that I do most mm-hmm. of the time she's like yeah you, okay honey that's fine go ahead and do that it's the opposite of my house yeah I think I think Verso may have something to say no that was it oh because they can't hear you because you don't have a microphone at my house, it's the opposite problem. It's the girl who is the giant nerd and says, yeah. really, just have this phone and put this thing on it, and then when you type stuff there, I'll see it. <laughs> I promise. And it's like magic. And here you go. Uh, yes, but the Verso husband has been tweeting more often. Yes. Yeah. You, do you know why you've seen Mo- Mr. Fishbones actually I update? I do know. Can I say? Yes. 
the iPhone. That's why. Uh, yeah, because yeah. he spent all night the playing with it. The new the iPhone. iPhone. The is. new iPhone. Yes, which is G3 if you watch Channel 8. Yeah, exactly. And 3G if you actually know what you're talking about. <laughs> so. Or was it G3? Yeah. No, well, the, no, the G3 thing. is a special version of the iPhone. It's that the exclusive only version. Only Josh looks Bancroft like a, has. And apparently. it looks like a <laughs> six-year-old Apple Tower. Yeah. So I, had, yeah. I have to say, How though. How you know? The thing is, I look at my fancy, fancy, fancy iPhone, my old iPhone, mm. and then I saw a Versus iPhone the other day. Hers is all fancy and black, and then the the little buttons on the side are silver. And as much as I love my iPhone, I felt myself kind of envying really? the silver because buttons. Because you lust after things. Yeah. I do. I'm a, techno, thing. Techno I'm, a, lust. I'm a tech thing luster. You lust. Yeah. After is it time thing. for Embrace us to fight with them again? Is that what you're saying? <clears throat> I think it might be time for oh, the, okay. it might the be battle. Time for a saber battle. All right, hold on. I get to be purple this time because you're no longer my guest. Ooh, okay. Mace Windu, <sighs> very nice. Where's my? She let me have it last time. Yeah, I let her have purple when she was on the show, so it's totally. That's not. That's not right. Oh, I need to turn my. He's on the Jedi Council. You've got to like be. <laughs> I'm gonna do a go. crazy music mashup for this. Oh, nice. Are you guys about ready to lightsaber? What color, what color are you going with? Verso? Doctor Who doesn't go with the lightsaber battle. Nice. That's the new, uh, the new <clears throat> segment of Strange Love. Cami and Verso, lightsaber battle. It could be worse. I can have the doctor and I have to Yeah, I, I don't understand why why we're playing Doctor Who music while we have a lightsaber battle. I mean, <laughs> I love Doctor Who more than the next girl. But why are we having... Unless Verso is the next girl and then it's maybe a tie. Yeah, the cowbell. Uh, just by a show of hands, which no one that's listening can see, how many of All us right. have an iPhone? So, uh, Dr. Normal, would how you many, raise your hand? How, how many, raise your how hand. Many, how many people want to sponsor me to shape having an iPhone? <laughs> <laughs> Let the bidding so, begin. So, four Ooh, people. Take- four of seven people have an iPhone. Four of seven really? instead of seven of nine. Brom's got the sweet one. It's like when uh, oh the, God, the last time I upgraded Do my Brom wife's and Media phone. Chick have the same phone? Uh, but which phones are those? Let's let's ask them. No way. Pick up the pick up the mic. What, so what are your phones? So let's talk. So four people, four of seven have the iPhone. Three of seven have the old iPhone. One person has the new so what, 3G yeah. what iPhone. Do you have? Brom, what do you have? My phone is a Nokia six one zero two. I believe it's very very old. Yeah. But mm-hmm. it's my. Uh, Twitter uh, headquarters right yeah. here. Twitter headquarters. headquarters. I don't believe it, you use Brom SMS, does. Right? Do you know Brom does everything on Twitter from that little Do you red really? thing right yeah. there? I'm tweeting this thing right now from yeah. here. Yeah. Oh my it's god! Amazing. I told I tweet from my iPhone and from my laptop. But you, yeah. you're using it via SMS. Oh, okay, right? not from my laptop. I don't have a laptop right now, but <clears throat> I use Dr. Norma's laptop yeah. until I have one. You're getting a Mac, yeah. right? That's. Where I'm we're so getting a Mac. Right, yeah. What phone do you have? I have a Samsung. Something they said it was some executive phone because my old one broke, and they're like, You get to, to get this super. It has phone, a slidey it, thing. It's not very nice. smart. You know, it cannot type it. It does not know things like Flanders Street mm-hmm. or oh, yeah. Cooch Street. Yeah. You know, uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do you Twitter from it? So it's not a smartphone, it's a stupid you know, phone. It's an emergency. <laughs> I will have to Twitter. It's a new yeah. selling like, point. Like, it's a stupid. Yeah, 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 I have been arrested. Please rescue me. So, Love, K's Organic. So if. It, 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 both of you, if what phone do you desire? I mean, what Ooh, phone would what you, phone uh, do you do you covet? like your phone or do you? I mean, would you get an iPhone or is there something else that you like better? I'd get a phone five years in the future from Japan. That's a good yeah. answer. You've got to like give it a, to her. I, I'd get like a, a maybe a BlackBerry. A BlackBerry, BlackBerry, yeah. BlackBerry mm-hmm. person. Yeah, that's yeah. that's cool. Brom, what, what kind of problem? phone would you have? I want Don P Don P's old phone. Yeah. Oh, what is it? Oh, Don does, P, he a, Don does he have an Android phone? Oh, no. That thing is. I, I have to make a note now that Don, Don P. P. Don P. P. won the iPhone yeah. oh, at oh, the, the uh, Ignite gotcha, Portland gotcha, gotcha. after party. Yeah. Did, he didn't win it. I thought he won it and then he, he gave it away. No, he did. He didn't win oh, okay. it. He, he didn't? He did. He told me that he didn't win it. What I, happened, okay. what I heard happened he was, won yes, it and gave it away. Pixel Matrix yeah. won it. 
Yeah. Quite frankly, he got picked, but A, he wasn't there. B, he couldn't have been there anyway because it's a bar and he's not 21. Mm. And um, then someone else, there was one other name that got pulled, and then Don P. Don P. was the third. Mm-hmm. And he's like... He was the only one that actually qualified. He was the only one who was there yeah. and got the phone, and then he gave it to Pixel Matrix. I, I wondered why he gave it to like Pixel Matrix, but I yeah. thought that was awesome. So yeah. he won the phone... And he gave it to Pixel Matrix. But he has a totally open source phone now. The Android mm-hmm. phone. He's got an Android phone, right? But it doesn't. The Android's not re- released. Yeah, so it's no. Open Moco. Is the, uh, okay. Is the, yeah. Is but it's. I want. Apple? I want to see an Android phone. Thing? Yeah. I think a uh, lot of people. I think yeah. a lot of people like to I know, see I Android. Like <laughs> what kind of phone do you have, Media Chick? I have a Pebble. It's Ooh. been dropped about fifteen Hello, million times. Pebble. The Pebble. Yeah. Let me show you how I can open it up with one hand. Let me show you. Look. I want to hold it Watch and this. touch it. I want to touch your pebble. Beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> nice. Let me do that again. No, no, let Just me touch for it. Let, yeah, let nice. me touch it. Engage, number one. I need to <laughs> touch me and chick's you, you phone. Know what? The old handspring trio did that, too. Hello, we the old one. I would actually prefer if anyone is listening Dude. in any part of the world, hint, hint. I know who you are. I would like you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I oh. Open. For the record. Oh, sweetie, sweetie, your battery's, it's dying. My text messages is that these a, days. Is that a squash flower there on the image? That is my first pumpkin plant ever. Oh, it's a pumpkin. Uh. It's so cute. I should have about six or seven this year, so let me know if you want one. Um, yeah, okay. I love pumpkins. Along with a lot of cabbage, I'm... I got a lot of that. So, so, so anyone so who should be calling me a chick that isn't okay. or texting or whatever we I'm want. I'm just putting it out there. Twitter dippity. <laughs> Someone media give chick media confused, chick's phone some love. Okay. Other than the So then we would iPhone. have five of seven and that would rock. Over here. Okay, fine. Dr. Normal, you can talk. Hi there. Hi. Hi. Um, hey, welcome to the show. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, welcome back to the show. Is actually <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Woo, Dr. Normal. Um, other than the iPhone, BlackBerry, yeah. I was thinking about a Centro, but mm, they haven't eh. updated the software. iPhone's all about the software. Yeah. I mean, the iPhone. 3G iPhone, it's like, or the, the old iPhone, updated software. Yeah. Now you have all the apps. So, we we updated know. our iPhones. Dr. Normal updated his iPhone before the 3G iPhones actually came yeah. on the market. Oh, it didn't yeah. work, and I had to redo it. Yeah, you you it did the beta? Messy. I don't know. They had the yeah, link yeah. and all yeah, where that you could stuff. Sneaky, get in there. Yeah, yeah, and I did it, and it yeah. was kind of working, and I couldn't get the app store. Yeah. And then it said, "Oh, we're going to redo it anyway," and I'm like, "Okay, it's not working." Anymore. That so. reminds me, there was a lot of discussion about Symbian at OSCON yep. too. So, but since that's been you know dedicated to open source, right? Now, they're open then, source. Yeah. So that was a big hot topic. See, I wanted to hold off and because I predicted uh, Google Android would be out ah, by now and yeah. that it would be competitive with the iPhone. So I was like, well, hold off, man. we got to see what Google's yeah. got. Yeah. No, you know not what? man. It's not there. Hold he off, he told Kimmy yeah, Chaos. Yeah. He said, Kimmy Chaos, Kimmy Chaos. Because that's how he refers to me. Of right. course. At all times. <laughs> At all times. Okay. He said, you need to wait. You need to get the Google phone. You'll love the Google phone. And I said, I really want the iPhone. <laughs> The one that is so, available. So you know what we should do? We should do technology pr- predictions. Every person does a technology okay. prediction. Mm. One proper technology prediction. Let's start with Doctor Normal. And the other and one we'll go around the room. crazy yeah, and wacky. Yeah. Oh, you? Oh, I no, yeah. no. I suggested it. You? Start. No, no. Doctor Normal <laughs> starts because he suggested it. The he who smelt it, dealt it. Doctor Normal suggested it. He needs to start. Okay. So let's see. How do we play this game now? I just made this up. It's like the, the McLaughlin group. That's right. Only <laughs> not. It's exactly. It's exactly <laughs> right. Wrong. Issue one. <laughs> I think. Okay. Prediction one. This is my technology prediction, and uh-huh, the other one's uh-huh. the wacky. You know, with the bunny ears. You know, crazy. <laughs> I like bunny ears. So prediction one is I think Google stock will go lower. And I think that Google will show some of the growing pains of its size and capitalization. And what's your crazy prediction? My crazy prediction is Steve Ballmer will run for vice president. Who's Steve Ballmer? He will be chosen as vice president. He's the CEO of Microsoft. There you go. (laughs) I get to be the silly no and no I would say pick for vice president. Okay, Rick. Rick? Uh, Your first prediction. You're supposed to say... Rick Jarosi. Okay, okay. I'm Sweet John McLaughlin. Yeah, yeah. Still scream in the mic. Because he does. He yeah. tends to he get. Does. He gets very loud. Okay, I'll just back up. Mm-hmm. Rick Jarosi, what's your prediction? Hmm. How is that? Technology is that good? Technology prediction. Yeah. It's a bit meaner. 
I'll be meaner for you. Yeah, it is wrong. I'm like, I, I, there's so much going through my head right now for technology. If it's Saturday Night Live, well, it's not what we're No, 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 no. <laughs> it's not the sweaty ball sack or anything like that. Sweaty ball sack. Oh, yeah. Wrong. <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Next topic. Um, I'm struggling for technology prediction. Um, I, uh, has a, for a generalized kind of prediction, I will say that uh, within the next 18 months, Portland will establish a firm foothold as one of the leading, if not the leading, uh, areas for open ID and open source kind of things. I think that's Fantastic. coming. I think, uh, you know, with the type of companies we've got going here, I think I think we're well on our way. And we're going to see some, I, I think we'll see some major investment in that regard. I think it's coming. Uh, I also think we'll see some uh, different types of investment. So I think traditional, v, traditional VC is going, is not necessarily the type of investment we're going to see. Let me put it that way. For my wacky technology prediction hmm I don't know because you're wacky <laughs> everyone looks at Verso for wacky information <sighs> I'm struggling with this um, I don't think it has to be um, technology based I think the wacky prediction can be anything true. wacky can be anything mm -hmm. that uh, Marshall Kirkpatrick who has hinted at a new venture uh, will be pursuing his dream of developing the internet brain implant which yes. he which he happens to be if you'll search for internet brain implant on google right now marshall k will be your first result for internet brain implant so fantastic that's his new project that'll be launching so, there we go yeah there you okay go. kimmy chaos <laughs> what is your internet prediction no the, the oh i don't have to do last. it oh because because i have nothing and that would be great media chick what is your crazy internet prediction <laughs> no, no, first is the good one Okay. What's your real prediction? Go. Oh, what's your yeah, real exactly. internet prediction? Crazy, crazy person. You. I predict. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give it. Uh, I'm gonna give it five to ten years, actually. Oh, that's nice of you. Hush, you. God, I can't predict what underwear I'm gonna wear the next day. Jeez, and you're doing five to ten years. This I know what radical, underwear you'll wear you tomorrow. <laughs> okay. I predict that there's going to be a. Um, Yes. Along with the whole community building thing, that mm -hmm. there's going to be a depository for black data, for experiments, scientific, technology, whatever, experience gone wrong, where Ooh. people deposit their data uh, that they collected for experiments that mm. didn't go the way they thought they would, yeah. and just left them in the depository for other people to come along and figure out what they can do with the end result and or what they can do with figuring out how to make the actual experiment work. So I predict that um, there's going to be some thought into not only forward, but also what we've done in the past that hasn't worked and why it hasn't worked. Fantastic. And what's your... Isn't that hot? It is hot. It's hot. Actually, I have spent white, some time thinking about that hot. because I think that's, that's, that's another way to go, people. And I, now I'd like to know your crazy wackadoodle prediction. <laughs> Wait a minute, that wasn't... Oh, okay. Shut up, that was <laughs> not wackadoodle. That, that's that's predict, very straightforward. I predict that this is, this is not the wacky prediction. Yeah. I want the wackadoodle one now. Crazy talk, okay. go! So, <laughs> the, wacky, the wacky prediction is... Let's see. I, I think that we actually are a lot closer to the transporter technology than we think we are. Ooh. You're in line with me, baby. And you and I. I wanted to go anywhere in the world that I could just simply step in an elevator, elevator and poof, there I would hey, be. Hey, you know, IBM, one of the IBM labs did that experiment with the... the, the you know, no, this is wackadoodle stuff. Let's I know, let but the I other mean, people there was, talk. There's actually... Yeah, they, yeah let they media used, chick talk. You know. Dr. It's media chick's time. Okay, actually, I'm done. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, okay Case Organic, what's your, what's your technological prediction? Oh, jeez. Oh, this is oh, going to be good. Right. This is going to be good. Here we go. All right. Cyborg anthropologist. That's well, right. <laughs> yes. As a cyborg anthropologist. <laughs> um, so so I'm thinking that like the, the differentiation between advertisements and, and 
communities will blend so we'll get this sort of ubiquitous technology where we're right next to the products that are being developed so the liability of the product being developed before the consumer uses it will will go away and we'll be actively developing the product because it will be so lightweight and easy to change that we'll form it for ourselves so that we can consume it and the uh, the amount of granularity that we see in that will become so fine that we'll be able to be ultimate individual consumer insanity objects. I don't yep. know if that's true, yep. but I would love that. <laughs> yes. That would be awesome. It has a dark side, you know. I know it has a I like the dark side. I like that prediction. I like that prediction, though. I the dark side makes me I hot. agree with it. And now what's your crazy right. prediction? I don't know about the crazy one, but I, I think a lot of things will be logged automatically. So uh, mm. whatever we do, you know, we take one footstep here or there, and it will just show up on a graph somewhere. So, so I don't like that. So everything will, will <laughs> show up and, and be tabulated, and, and then also like we'll have hardcore Yahoo pipes uh, drilling down all of the data and, and the, the Google <laughs> Analytics separating all of that data, so we'll know exactly... What's going on all the time? You know what? I just saw everyone turn I, I, I white like and that. start thinking about closing their laptops right I'm now. So scared. This is the dark I'm side like of so technology. I'm happy right now. I don't have a laptop. It, Every, everyone will love it. It will be That's utopian. Nike Plus. It'll it? be like I mean, the, it's already happening. It'll yeah. be the ultimate yeah. in uh, it'll be the ultimate in what do you call it? Geo reality Geo TV. Mm -hmm. It's like the ultimate in reality TV. You know, everyone's doing it all times. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't like reality TV. Cause but it's tied. It's icky. But the thing is, is all of that's going to be tied into, like she said, you know, the consumer Correct. and the product <laughs> and the marketing and you know, right? It, 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 and and that I, I think I think Scary. that's I think that's something actually. Oh my God! They're calling from inside the house. <laughs> yeah. Right, but we're getting our. Oh, we're learning. Everyone is learning how to market themselves. So. Exactly, it's true. They have all the tools now, and it's it's very affordable, and it's almost this force to create. You know, it's like if you're not creating, what are you, what are you doing? Yeah, right. I'm gonna break in here again. Are you gonna can. interrupt? I'd like to see in the next six Just months the, the tech community. Like we kind of get together and talk this out a little bit more, especially the downsides to it yeah. too. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I think we don't focus on the downsides to this as, as much as the, I mean, it, definitely there's a lot of upside, but there's also some things for our life in the future, you know, to think, gosh, do we, do we really want to go down this path? All right. Maybe well, the, the speed of things. Yeah. 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 Well, and I really liked your questioning of the whole strands recommender like oh, who's paying you attention remember. yeah oh, who's, thank who's you. paying attention i thought everybody forgot about no, that no, 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 it's, no, trans, no. it's funny because um the first conference i went to was the dow jones emerging ventures forum back in like 2006 and uh i saw strands before people knew about them you know mm -hmm. and they they were just this kind of startup they're like did you know there's this thing called social media? You venture capitalists, we're going to teach you about this. And I was like, <laughs> are they going to get funded? And, and, you know, they did. They got, you know, like three or six million dollars from that. And mm -hmm. um, so, you know, it was in its infancy. And, and I was like, what am I watching? You know, like, I, I don't really know anything at, at this moment in time. But Well, I mean, do you guys put any credence in the rumor that Facebook has some shall we say, government funding behind it? <laughs> <laughs> Conspiracy <laughs> theories! I, uh, you know what? It, Dr. Normal's a like tiny bit paranoid, but in the right way. Was, was, you know, the, like Doug Engelbart and all these other people that were funded by, you know, government, and that's how they got there, you know, even though they were, like, all smoking pot and had jacuzzis <laughs> and were, like, programming and mm -hmm. living in the forest and coming down to, like... Why don't know, I live in the forest with pot and a jacuzzi? <laughs> That would be nice. Your iPhone would have you don't no code. Reception. Oh, I like I like my iPhone. No yeah, yeah, it's, it's it's been like this dichotomous relationship to like the development of tech the whole time. So I wouldn't be like it's just a normal part of it that it would be funded by something larger simply because where does that money come from? I mean, like Intel is the venture capitalist arm of the CIA. You know, like well, yeah, it, yeah. It, that's what I'm saying. And you know, I mean, come on, we can thank TCP/IP to DARPA, right? Right. Yeah. I mean. Oh, they've started speaking. Yeah, and strange language. acronyms <laughs> and whatnot. Can't make ass. It's observing the wild geek <laughs> in its okay. natural habitat. <laughs> so Brom will bring us around, right? Okay, Brom. Yeah, Brom's yeah. not geeky yeah. at all. Please really? tell us. About <laughs> that. Wait a minute. Back to the yeah. Brom, what is your prediction? So serious prediction. Your serious internet prediction. Yeah. It's not internet. It's really about the well, community, right? Your serious technology talking. prediction. It's about Brangelina, isn't it? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> what did they call their babies? I don't know. 
Where the babies? UDP and TCP. I, I don't, don't know, know if the babies were born or not. I like that. Bram, give us some information. <laughs> oh, okay, well, there you go. So this is more of a prediction rather than a hope, right? Mm-hmm. So um, as you all may know, uh, I deal in both you know, creative and technology. I do creative works by day and technology by night. And one day, they will all form like a happy community and they will all start talking to each other and they will all understand each other. Probably won't happen, but I can hope. That's not your real prediction. That's your wacky just shaking your head. It reminds me of that Coca-Cola commercial with all the love. Uh, and the feel I don't know. I, 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 I think you guys are... I'd like to think that Brahms prediction... Maybe like maybe it's because actually. I'm I'm less technically involved. I like I like Brahms' like prediction. It warms the cockles of my heart. <laughs> I work. So cute. It's awesome. It's good. I'm too positive. Yeah. Well, you no, know what? Okay. I work. I, <laughs> where's the I, pessimism I, here, Brahms? Let me just Come say on. a lot. A lot of old coders. A lot of the old. La, 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 la. Thank you. Um, <laughs> a lot of the like techies and coders that I work with. Um, you know, these are people who like played guitar in bands 25 <laughs> years ago and stuff and then you know had to get a job right so i mean there's something creative you know there's some creative um you know light in yeah. what those people do and i i think i've read that you know creative people just find an avenue for their creativity so like when you when you're 19 years old and you think you're going to be a guitar god and you're going to make a million dollars and drive and you know five years later you realize you know you got to get a paycheck and you start learning to code you know c plus plus or something say you take a cooking class you become a chef right you you just channel your creative energies oh, into something else so i i don't think you're that that far off i can help <laughs> I think that, yeah, I th- but you know, uh, this is a continuing discussion around Portland. This whole right. like blurring the lines of, I mean, more uh, discussion. Yeah, I think I think Aaron Hockley is a great example. Actually, I like to call him out um, just because he's hi, been in. Bl- hi, Mr. Hockley. Um, <laughs> oh, you have to call him Mr. Hockley. I still? do. It's, oh, yeah, it's yeah. either a Hockley, but if I'm on Identica, it's Aaron. I'm allowed so. to call him Adam. It's very special. Uh, <laughs> Nice. See, we're we're not quite there. I'm really not allowed yeah. to call him Adam. He's probably gonna, yeah. you know, kick my ass later. Yeah, luckily, he's already gone to bed. So yeah, we're fine. Um, <laughs> but you know, who is very much the coder by day, photographer by night kind of thing. So I, it, it's stuff starting to get blurry, and hopefully, it gets blurrier. They are, and I have to ask Brom when we have him. Is that part of what uh, Create Camp tomorrow is about? Hopefully it is. We'll see who shows up. <laughs> actually, we, we do have a registration system. and uh, So you kind of know who's going to be so there. So I kind of know who's going to be. And most of the people is actually uh, freelancers mm-hmm. who happens to be, you know, they do web development and print. So, you know, they are right in that uh, middle ground. Mm-hmm. Again, I mean, they're not coders, but, you know, they do some web development. And, uh, yeah. So uh, we'll see what happens. Fantastic. And he gets a wacky. Okay, do your wacky prediction now. So I wrote this off in um, in the last five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he took notes. It's already on. Oh, yeah. Fantastic! Lincoln, I'm yeah. excited. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> so wacky prediction: the U.S. government will authorize open use of low-altitude solar-generated jetpacks among urban teenagers, and Idahoans oh, yeah. will communicate using a series of pneumatic tubes run entirely by genetically modified albino chickens nice we, 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 are, we actually already do that yeah. I have but to it's, ask. it's with potatoes i have no. to ask is chickens. idahoans actually you know is idahoans actually what we call people from idaho yes being, it is? being from idaho oh, for a few of my formative okay. years so it is, is idahoans yeah much like the flaky potato byproduct that you that's an unfortunate name yeah. that, yeah, it really is an, okay i like that one I regret saying I that. Think, I think that's a fantastic... No, that was good. I'd, I'd like to withdraw. All right. Verso, what is your internet or technology prediction? Okay. So my tech prediction is that in the next uh, year, 12 to 18 months, um, Android's actually going to be released and run on hardware. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be an actual competitor for the iPhone, which will cause everybody else to try and play catch up, which will make everybody's cell phones better. And what is your wacky prediction? My wacky prediction is that 
as soon as Rick's wacky prediction comes true and Portland continues to completely rock everybody's socks and we're taken <laughs> seriously as a technical place to be, then at that point, um, the Silicon Florist will become the number one place to get all of your information about what's happening in Portland and it will make so much money that Rick will finally be able to sleep through the night. Mm. I like that. Cammy's Kemi, Kemi Chaos is very, very serious technology <laughs> prediction. <laughs> Within the next 27 years, like Holodeck technology will at least be in its beta phase. <laughs> we will be able to do all sorts of lovely things on the Holodeck. No one will ever leave the house. <laughs> Before I die, I will be able to be young again on the Holodeck. <laughs> it will be fantastic. And never leave the house. <laughs> How often have you seen me outside of the house, Versa? It happens. Like, like twice. More than twice. Like three times. It's been more than three times. Really? Yeah. Cammy Chaos doesn't like to leave the house. No, it's direct sun. You told me was not so good, but I don't like the direct it, sun. It it. Uh, but it, leaving the house has been known to happen. When I have to go shopping for a new purse. Hello. Or like, you know, some pants or a dress. Or, you know, a, a purse. Or a purse. I really like purses. I think it would be a good time to talk. Oh, oh, my crazy prediction. I have a crazy prediction. Purses Versa- will come with iPhone pockets? No, no, no. <laughs> why, why do you have to scoop me? Oh. Why do you have to scoop me? My crazy what? prediction is that Verso and I will go shopping and she will find a purse that has the perfect iPhone pocket like my purse. But it will not be the same purse as the purse that I have. That is a pretty wacky prediction, I must admit. Mm. I'm very particular when it comes to the purse. So am I. I think it will happen. For anyone who's not familiar, a couple weeks ago I went and bought a purse. And I bought the purse solely based on the fact that, well, okay, two, two, two reasons. One, it was awesome. It's an awesome purse. And leathery and good. And two, it had the perfect pocket for my iPhone. All I have to do is reach into the purse and my iPhone just comes right out and I go, oh, hello, I'm on my iPhone. Can make chaos on her iPhone It here. is a pretty awesome pocket, I have to admit. It is an awesome pocket. It's fantastic. And it's iPhone-y, pocket-y goodness. So those are my crazy predictions. And since we're in after hours, now we can talk about other things. The chat room would like us to spice it up a little bit. Oh, yeah, they're getting There have been a number bored. of requests for. Okay, chat room. Rick and I are both going to keep our tops on. If that's right. one of the questions. Are there yeah, any right. actual questions from the chat room? I'm just guessing. Yes, there is an actual question. Ooh. Yeah. You Media you check. Off, no, right? an actual one. What? Oh. Is there a real question that doesn't involve anyone taking their clothing off? No. There, there was one a long time ago. What was the oh, one yeah. from a long time ago? Oh, yeah. I'm not sure who asked if, if they're you still on. Uh, perhaps. Okay. And there was another one that said, what, what are your favorite local Portland that blogs? Was, and, asked that. Oh, Betsy. hi, Betsy. Oh, favorite local portland blogs and betsy asked and betsy asked rpdx.net yeah rpdx everybody's favorite local blog is rpdx um i i I really do like rpdx i mean i think Mm -hmm. that that and and i kind of wrote about it when it launched that's very much the the phoenix rising from the ashes for me that it's starting to it's picking up where another site terribly and, stumbled and, and failed. A name site that yeah. I may have may or may not that have met some somebody people, on. Some people in the room may have worked for <laughs> at some point. No, no, I, I use the term work, work loosely because say, work <laughs> implies pay. Correct. And, uh, Payment or appreciation. Right. Or consultation or acknowledgement. <laughs> yeah. That kind of thing. Gratitude. Gratitude. Excellent word versus gratitude. Um, and yeah. just to uh, kind of promote an upcoming strange love live uh melissa lyon's blog is uh, hello melissa brilliant um really good really well written yeah that's, Read a, that that's all a, the time three weeks i think three weeks from from tomorrow will be melissa lyon's yeah. uh, strange love episode yeah and that's i mean that's not techie per se but it's just it's, no it's, it's it will solid. actually be based on her um, back fence oh, work good yeah. yeah yeah that's a really i i have a lot of respect for that mm-hmm. project um that's just a, it's a really kind of important Yes. thing that they're doing so the um, storytelling from a I, I i actually really appreciate the entire back fence 
line, the the series that yeah. they're doing and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. what they're doing with it. I think it's I think storytelling is kind of a forgotten medium. It's not forgotten now, but I I often fear from the standpoint that I started blogging because I love to write and because mm-hmm. I'm a writer. Yep. I think that fiction and storytelling at some point is going to be less significant and is starting to be pushed by the wayside by technology and by what's happening. And I, I hope that doesn't happen. Yeah, I agree. The story is being lost and, and there's, there's something to the, we're really really making this more exciting, by the way, there's, (laughs) there's something specific to the human condition that, Mm -hmm. that appreciates the story. Correct. And the book. Yeah. So, uh, I read Melissa Lyons blog all the time. Um, I'm trying to think of other local blogs that, I, I mean, I read so many. I don't know how many are in my feed reader, but every time I open it, I, I use Go- I use Google Reader. Yeah, I do too. And every time I open it, I'm at a thousand plus. So, yeah. and I open it several times a day. Um, actually, you know, it's not a blog; it's an aggregator. But um, Audrey Eshright's Planet PDX. If you don't subscribe to it and you're in, into tech, Is that Spinner in? You, you should Spinner in. Yeah. And and what she did was she built an aggregator and she asked a lot of us for I get a little geeky here OPML files, which are basically if you wanted to give somebody all the RSS feeds that were in your RSS reader, mm-hmm. you can export one file. They could import that, and they would automatically it subscribe would just be like to all Cammy's the feeds, all the feeds feeder. that okay. you have. And um, so she requested a lot of OPML files from folks and, and brought them all together. So you can read Planet PDX, which is like, I don't know what the actual URL. It's like pdx.epiglyph.net or something yeah. like that. And um, it's, a, it's an aggregator of, of a lot of Portland tech blogs. So you can read in just a single stream, you know. Silicon Forest from the Oregonian, Silicon Florist is in there, um, a number of kind of individual bloggers, and it's just a really good way to kind of keep in touch with it. In fact, the the uh, links arrangement that mm-hmm. comes out in my blog on kind of a daily basis mm-hmm. when I do it, very much I'm kind of just cherry picking from, from, from that blog. So, okay. um, that's a really good one. And I don't, there are just so many. Like, that's another creative outlet. I read, I read, I read, so and I can't games. remember where I read, but that Portland is only in the United States is second only to Austin, Texas, for bloggers per capita. For number of bloggers, I would, yeah. I would believe that. I mean, and and not only number of bloggers, but like people who blog consistently. Mm-hmm. Like I'm always amazed at how many times I will log into my reader, and there are one or two posts like that are available. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, people are just churning content. That's great. Yeah. Are there any other questions from the chat room? Yes. Oh. Hmm. Brian. It's a hard question. Okay, good. So, Michael Seigler. Um, Hello. So his username is uh, Chappelle. It, what about that Jive blog being updated there, Michael? <laughs> 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 so he asks mm. about uh, By the way, your wife Portland becoming is totally hot. an echo chamber. Right? So yes. as people yeah, are yeah, talking, yeah. Yes. so there's a danger that we will become like a mini SF. You know, so what's your uh, thought on that? I don't. That's a great question. I don't think that um, c- culturally, I don't think we have enough in common with San Francisco to become the same kind of thing. But I do agree with the echo chamber concept, and and I I I fear that while we te- you know as Cami mentioned earlier, while we tend to be welcoming to a lot of people who come from the outside, I fear that we're becoming very cliquish with people who are already. Here. Mm, I mean, I, I think, think true. I think that tech creative divide is is clickish, and and I worry about that. That we spend so much time talking to one another that I think Open ID is a great example. You know, where we go, like, oh well, you don't use Open ID. I'm not going to deal with you. you know, mm-hmm. And and like we're like point zero 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 one percent of people who even know what Open ID <laughs> is, and to to use that as a basis simply because of the group think. Right. It is a problem, and uh, while I don't worry about San Francisco, uh, us becoming another Silicon Valley or another San Francisco, um, I do worry about that kind of, you know, exclusivity kind of thing that tends to occur. It's very, very true. Are there any other questions from the chat room? Any other questions? <laughs> because I'm <clears throat> looking at the clock. Yeah, we're getting it's a little because you know I need to get my beauty sleep before I go to this create camp create tomorrow. Create camp tomorrow. <laughs> Yes. Early in the morning. Oh my goodness. Oh, and Dr. We're out. Normal seems to be playing us out. And we're done. 
Thank you, everybody. Rick, you are a fantastic guest. Thank you. Studio audience, we love you all. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us. Thank you, Rick. Yeah. And the studio audience, Media Chick, Case Organic, Ram Patoyo, and Verso. The lovely, lovely Verso. Good night, everybody. And thanks, chat room. Yes, thank you. Good night.